Man, oh man. It's time for a drug test. Oh man, I know y'all get scared whenever you hear, hey, you got the job. All you gotta do is come past this drug test, little swab, and then your whole world just goes to shit. How in the hell am I supposed to stop smoking in time to pass my drug test? Well, first of all, you just gotta breathe. So step one, breathe. Step two is to take into account of how much time you have for your drug test. Obviously, if you have one day, you need to stop smoking immediately. If you got three or more days, smoke your last blunt, chill, relax. To safely not worry about it, fuck all these dumb remedies. Oh, if you drink a gallon of bleach, it'll clean your mouth out. Nah, no. Just stop smoking for two days, 48 hours. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, if somebody offers you a job, they're not gonna make the drug test within two days. If y'all ever notice any warehouse jobs, any type of job you get, it's, you, you gonna get at least 48 hours. So, you know, as soon as you get that, if you absolutely need to, go smoke one more time. And as soon as you're done smoking, brush your teeth. Now, for the next two days, you're eating high fat foods, you're just drinking a ton of water, you know, munch on some ice chips, don't smoke cigarettes. If you think, okay, well, if I'm not gonna smoke weed, I just won't smoke cigarettes, or I'll just smoke cigarettes for two days. The problem with that is that the cigarettes cause the THC to stick into, you know, where the nicotine, you know, it just all comes together for one big yuck mouth ass drug test. So just quit it, you know, have a drink. If you just absolutely need something to alter your mind, have a drink, but don't smoke, it's not worth it. After about 24 hours, you're gonna be like, woo! I could do that one more day, <laughs> you know? I'm really excited about this job and that's another thing that makes it easy to stop and just pass my test is the fact that I will be making some good money for this. So instead of spending all my money on weed, I could save some money up. That way when I get my first check with this nice job, I'm buy some better weed than I was smoking when I stopped. You know, you just you gotta have a reward. You can't think of this as like some type of punishment or anything you know this is this is good for you you want to stop smoking you want to give it two breaks you know you know just a two-day break so you can get this job and go back to being a stoner you know it's not that hard it's all in your head you know my biggest thing was boredom I get bored as fuck and I'm just immediately like let's just go smoke I'll come back and do the same thing I just won't be as bored you got to knock that out your head so what I've started to do is you know I go to my local gym I play basketball I'm a baller I'm a baller, shit. Or, you know, just go for a run. You know, I have siblings, so I'll take them to the park, or hey, you know, instead of me spending money on a 20 sack for weed, let's go get some food, you know? Bond with people who aren't in the same environment so it makes you feel better, you know? Let people know, you know, hey, you may, it might only be two days, maybe you wanna stop for a week, maybe you just wanna be done. But it's only gonna last for so long. That feeling you have the first day or three, it's not gonna stay. You know, you're not gonna die. You know, you're not coming off a of meth. Not like I know what that's like, but I've, I don't think it's good. You know, I just wanted to let y'all know my way and you know, my mindset for stopping. And you know, if you really want a job, it's easy money. This ain't sweat either, y'all. I just got out the shower. I'm going bald and we'll probably get into that too. You know, a little bit of, hey, I'm growing my hair back. I'm gonna be in the bathroom. I got my edges back. <laughs> All right, y'all. Get that job, man. It's not that hard to stop smoking, man. Y'all could do it. Y'all could do it.